What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your Titan Portable Array. So as you can see, the Titan Array system comes with three array pieces that attach to the main subwoofer here, which has the mixer and everything you need to function the whole system. It also comes with a power cable so you can charge the speaker whenever the battery is running low. And it comes with a bag so we can bring the whole system on the go. So to assemble your Titan Portable Array, you're basically going to stack the three array pieces here to the top of the sub. The one thing you want to look out for though is the differences between the three array pieces. So for example, you have this array piece here, which is the very top of the array, and you can tell that because the top of this piece here is completely flat, while you have the grooves and the connector on the bottom. And then you have these two array pieces, which are stacked between the very top array and the sub. They're both identical with the grooves and the connectors on either side, so it doesn't matter which one you pick first, just as long as they're both in the middle between that top array and the sub. So you're gonna start by taking one of these middle pieces here, and then you're gonna take the end with this connector piece here, line up the grooves here on the bottom of the array to the grooves here on the top of the sub, and then once you have it lined up, you're just gonna slide the array onto the sub, and you're gonna wanna make sure to push all the way through when attaching the array to the sub. Next, you're gonna take another array piece here and you're basically gonna do the same thing by taking the end with the connector and lining that up to the top of your first array here. Line up the grooves and make sure to push all the way through. And then you'll know that they're connected when you hear that click. And then you're gonna take the last array piece here which actually has the speakers inside and then you're gonna follow the same exact steps by lining up the connector to the top of your array. Make sure that the grooves line up and then just slide it on like so. And then you'll hear that click letting you know that it's all connected. Once it's all set up and ready to go, you can turn on the speaker on the back of the sub. You'll know that it's on when you see the power LED light up on the top of the sub. And you can always tell what the battery life is for the whole system by looking at the back of the sub. So when we take a look at the mixer section here, you'll see that we have two channels, channel one and channel two, that can both be used with microphones or line level signals. And channel two also has a high Z switch so we can use a guitar or bass with this channel. So first let's go over how to set up a microphone to channel one. So for that, I got my dynamic microphone here and an XLR cable. I'm gonna plug the female end into my mic, then I'm gonna plug the other end into the input of channel one. Now to set the channel to mic mode, we're gonna look for the mic line switch here on the channel, and we're gonna push this button in to set the channel to microphone mode. Next, we're gonna raise the volume for the channel. And to hear everything coming out of the speaker, we're gonna raise the master volume knob, and then we're gonna raise the sub knob so we can hear all of the low end frequencies coming out of the subwoofer. So now if I talk into the microphone, check one, two, you'll hear my voice coming out of the whole system. Now, if you wanted to connect another microphone into channel two, you're just gonna follow these same exact steps. So now while I have my microphone plugged in here, let's go over the different features for channels one and two. So at the top of each channel, we have the treble and bass knob, so we can affect the overall sound for each channel. So the treble knob can be used to adjust all the high end frequencies coming through. So if I raise it all the way up here, check one, two, check one, two, you hear a lot more presence coming out of my voice, check one, two. And then if I lowered it all the way, check one, two, check one, two, you'll then hear that there's no high end coming out at all. And then I can bring it back in the middle, check one, two, check one, two, and then we have a more balanced sound. And then we have the bass knob to control all of the low end frequencies. So if I raise that all the way up, check one, two, check one, two, you definitely hear a lot more body coming out of my voice there. And then if I lower it all the way down, check one, two, check one, two. Now you're just hearing mostly high end, and then we can bring it back in the middle, check one, two, and then we got that balance. Below we have the reverb button here, which we can use to activate the reverb for the channels. And then across here we have the reverb knob to control just how much reverb we want throughout the system. So to show how it works, I'm gonna press in the reverb button to activate the reverb. And now if I raise the reverb knob here, check, 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 you start to hear more of the effect. 
Now we also have channel two open so we can plug in another microphone or we can plug in an instrument like a guitar. So to do that, I'm gonna take my quarter inch cable here and plug one end into my guitar. Then we're gonna plug the other end into the input on channel two. So now we can press the high Z button here. Then we'll raise the volume knob for channel two. And then we're gonna be sure to raise the master volume and the sub volume so we hear everything throughout the system. And now if I play, you should be able to hear the guitar coming out of the system. So I actually have the mic mode pressed in to get more volume out of my guitar through this channel. But if you ever feel like it's coming in too loud, you can always switch it to line mode and then you can adjust the volume from there so that it blends in with everything else coming out of the system. So this makes for a great live performance setup since I can connect a microphone and guitar at the same time and have them both playing throughout the system. La 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 la. Very cool. And don't forget we can use reverb on both channels by pressing the reverb button for whichever channel we want reverb on. So next to channel two, we have channel three, which we can use to play music through the system. And we can also use this channel to set up TWS, but we're gonna circle back to that later on. Now we actually have a few different ways we can play music through the Titan portable array. So we've got the eighth inch aux input to connect an aux cable into the system. We also got an RCA aux input to connect music playing devices or an RCA to aux cable. So we have two ways we can play music through the system with the RCA aux input on the bottom or we can set the system to Bluetooth mode so we can pair any smartphone or tablet to play music from. So to set the system to Bluetooth mode, we're gonna hold down the Bluetooth button here on top for about two seconds. Then we can take our device, like our smartphone or tablet, and go into the Bluetooth settings, search for the device that reads Titan Portable Array, and click on it to pair. You'll then see that your device is connected through the Bluetooth settings here, and you can also tell because the Bluetooth status light will stay lit once it has a device connected to it. So to make sure you're hearing the music coming through the system, you're gonna press down on this button here to set it to Bluetooth mode. Then you're gonna raise the volume for channel three, and then you'll wanna be sure to raise the master volume and the sub volume. You can also adjust the volume using the volume notches on your smartphone or tablet. So now let's go ahead and hear how the system sounds. because we can plug in up to two microphones and connect a Bluetooth device like our tablet here, the Titan Portable Array makes for a great karaoke system. So to show you that setup, I'm gonna start by connecting my microphone here with my dynamic mic and my XLR cable. I'm gonna plug the female end into my mic. Then I can plug the other end into the input of channel one or two. But for today, we're gonna plug it into channel one. Next, we're gonna set channel one to mic mode by pressing in the mic button here. Then we're gonna raise the master volume and the sub volume so we hear the microphone throughout the system. And now if I talk into the mic, check one, two, you'll hear my voice through the system. So next we can set up our tablet here by going to channel three and holding down the Bluetooth button for about two seconds to set the system into Bluetooth mode. From there, we can go to our tablet and go into the Bluetooth settings. We're then gonna search for the device that reads Titan Portable Array and click on it to pair. And now to hear the music from the tablet, we're gonna wanna press down on the Bluetooth button here on channel three raise the volume knob for channel three, and then you're also gonna wanna raise the volume of your Bluetooth device by using the volume notches. And now from here, we can go into the YouTube app on our tablet, search for any karaoke version of a song, and now this way we can read the lyrics from our tablet and have the music and microphone coming through our system. Don't forget, you can also set up another microphone on channel two by following the same exact steps that we use to set up our first microphone, and then we can use the reverb on both channels to give our voice some extra flair. You can dance, you can jive, having the time of your life. Ooh, see that girl, watch that scene, digging the dancing queen. Now what's really cool is that if you had two Titan portable arrays, you can link them together through TWS or true wireless stereo connection. 
So to set up TWS, you first want to make sure that both systems are powered on. Then you're going to hold down the TWS button here on both systems. You'll then see that the BT status button on both systems start to blink, which is letting us know that they're looking for each other to connect. And once they found each other, the BT status button will stay lit, letting us know that they're connected. So now that we've got both systems connected, we can then pair a Bluetooth device like our smartphone or tablet by going into the Bluetooth settings. Search for the device that reads Titan Portable Array and click on it to pair. So now to make sure we're hearing the music coming from both systems, we're gonna go to channel three on both systems and press the Bluetooth button. Next, we're gonna raise the volume knob for channel three on both systems. And on both systems, we're also gonna raise the master volume and sub knob so that we hear everything throughout both systems. So now let's play some music and hear how both systems sound together. If you wanted to disconnect the systems, all you gotta do is hold down the TWS button on one of the systems or both of the systems. And if you get confused on how to link the two systems again, you can always read the description underneath the BT status button on your systems. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the TWS feature is really meant to play music from a Bluetooth device out of both systems at the same time. So if you try plugging in a microphone or instrument into one system, it's only going to come out of one system and not through both through TWS. However, there is a way to link two systems together so that you can hear a microphone or instrument from one system coming out of the other system as well. And the way to do this is by using the mix output on one of your systems. So for this setup, we're gonna choose a system to use as our main system. So for today, we'll go with this guy here. Next, we're gonna take a quarter inch cable and plug one end into the mix output of our main system. And then we're gonna plug the other end into either channel one or channel two on the second system. For today, we'll use channel one. We're also gonna to wanna to switch channel one into line mode by pressing the button on top here. We're also gonna raise the volume knob for channel one. And then we're gonna raise the master volume and the sub volume so that we can hear everything coming out of this second system. So to test out this setup, I'm gonna plug a microphone into channel one. Then I'm also gonna set it to microphone mode and raise the volume for channel one. And then I also wanna make sure I'm hearing everything from this system also. So I'm gonna raise the master volume and the sub volume for this system as well. And now if I talk into the microphone, check one, two, you'll hear my voice coming out of both systems. So this way we can hear everything coming from our first system, including the microphone, instrument, or even our Bluetooth device, and have them all coming out of both systems at the same time. Now while you're using the mix output, you can also use this stereo and mono switch here. So when you have this button set to stereo mode, you'll have the stereo image between both speakers, so you're hearing the left channel out of one speaker and the right channel out of the other speaker. And when you have it set to mono mode, you have the same thing playing out of both speakers at the same time. So once you're all done using your system, you can disassemble it. To do that, all you're gonna do is take the steps that we use to assemble the system and go in reverse. So we're gonna start by taking off the top array by pushing at the base of the array like this. You just wanna do this carefully so it doesn't fall off completely, but you'll see that it starts to slide off of the array, and then from there we can just push the rest and take it off. We're then gonna do the exact same thing to take off the middle array here. So we're just gonna push at the base like so. Then you'll see it slide off a little bit, and then we can take it even further and remove it. Then we're gonna do that again for the bottom array to detach it from the sub. So we're gonna push on the base, slide it off, from here, we can take each array piece and place it inside of the bag. And you'll see when you look at the bag that there's a dedicated pocket for each array so it fits nice and perfectly inside. So we can take one array and place it inside of the first pocket here. Take the next array and place it into the pocket right next to the first pocket. Then take the last array and place it inside of the last pocket. Now there's even room inside to fit the subwoofer, so we can just take the sub and place it inside of this main pocket here. There's even a bit of extra room inside to place our power cable in. 
Then we can just close up the bag and use the handles to pick up the bag and you can even Velcro them together for a more solid grip. And now you're all set to head out to your next gig or event with your Titan Portable Array. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Titan Portable Array. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.